There's a lot of research on developing new and better VR controllers. And since I want to become a master of science, I am also developing a new epic virtual reality controller. Okay, it won't be that epic. But still. My controller will be focusing on vibrotactile feedback. The user shall feel impulses all around the controller to provide spatial tactile information. This actually could also be interesting for the porn industry. Maybe if game dev doesn't work out for me. Hmm. Here's a short look at the necessary hardware. For the controller, I use the Adafruit ESP32 Feather microcontroller. To control the motors, I use haptic drivers from Adafruit, which allow to easily implement different vibration patterns. And to head for all the different motors, I need this I2C switch. After a ton of programming in Visual Studio Code using Platform.io and in Unity, and the same amount of testing, I was finally able to connect the microcontroller with Unity. This allows me to control all the motors in a Unity application with a wireless connection. But I also needed to build my controller. This included a lot of soldering and... Fire? Fire! At first I wanted to build a completely new controller, so I created this model with Autodesk Fusion. The holes are for the motors and I wanted to put a Vive tracker on top of it to be able to track the controller. The second iteration also had some space for buttons, but then I had an idea to make my life much easier. Instead of building a completely new controller, I could just create an add-on to the normal ones like this. So I hopped into Blender and modeled my first prototype that I actually printed. The first model had some weaknesses. The holes were too small and there was no place for the cables. So I fixed these issues in my next and current prototype. I found out that I need some sort of damping. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to spatially differentiate the motors since the whole controller is vibrating. At first I tried to use foam, but the results weren't good enough. So latex. No, I mean this. I used the latex paste to create fitting uh, condoms. Stop it, okay? Stop it. Covers. I created covers for the motors by applying the latex paste multiple times. The result looks like this. After I taped the motors to the controller, I made a huge mistake transporting it with one meter long wires. Okay, after two hours of unwiring, I glued the motors to the controller and installed some proper wire system. So here it is, my current prototype. Now I need only a great game which utilizes it. I showed you my first gameplay idea a few weeks ago. You have to find an almost invisible ghost. The controller is helping you by vibrating only the motors which lie in the direction of the ghost. Therefore you have to feel where the ghost is. In my second idea you must use the force. The goal will be to place a cube in a predefined position and vibration patterns will help you. Exact positioning in distance is difficult in VR and we want to find out if haptic feedback is able to improve the precision of the user. Thank you for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel and if you have any idea what this new VR controller could be good for, please write it down in the comments. I would love to read your ideas. I hope I will see you next week. Stay tuned 